Hello class, I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to redraft your persuasive letter from quarter two, pod one. This was the last assignment due in pod one. My goal today is to review the prompt, the rubric, and give you some concrete examples to get you on your way. So first, let's start with the prompt. You are to write a persuasive letter to a parent from America, China, or Africa persuading him or her to adopt a different cultural parenting style. We have some people to address too. So from the American side, we have helicopter parents that we can talk to. We can have Sophie's parents from the Who I, Who's Irish story. From China, we have Amy Chua, and we also have the grandmother from Who's Irish. And for the African perspective, we have Yaba's mother, Mammy. You want to address the letter directly to one of these characters or groups of people in your letter. The first step is that you should be explaining some negative outcomes of the parenting style that you are criticizing. Remember, you want this person to change. So you have to give them evidence of why it is negative. So your evidence should come from the short story. You can show examples. You can, from articles, you can show examples from the articles or personal experience. Then you want to show positive outcomes of a different parenting style. Remember, this is the one you choose is better. And give, again, three pieces of evidence from short stories, articles, or personal experience. And finally, you want to give one specific way the parent can change his or her style. So you could look at as something that happened in the article or short story and show them how it could be done differently. The first step is to choose a parenting style to criticize. We have three different types to work with here. Which one didn't you like? And then you want to quick do some brainstorming. I didn't like this style because, and I started you out for it. So in American helicopter parenting, uh, I was said kids never learn the in independence. In the Chinese style, I said kids were always being told they were bad. And then in African style, I didn't like that one because the daughter didn't think her mom loved her. So. Pick one of these and think of three reasons why you didn't like it. That's the person that you're going to convince to change. Then you're going to choose a parenting style you like better. So you can find, uh, work with the same categories. So American Helicopter Mom, maybe you like the style for three different reasons. What did you like about it? Maybe you like the Chinese style and you're trying to convince the helicopter parents to be more like Amy Chua. So you could say, I like the style because of one, two, and three. Maybe you like the last one, the African style that we looked at. And you can explain why you like that one better too. Then you're going to find and explain evidence of the negative. Remember, we're going back to criticizing the first one. For whatever parenting style you wanted to criticize, you're going to show not tell, show the negative outcomes as seen in the short story. So here are some of my examples of negative evidence. Chinese style is seen in who's Irish. I said Sophie still misbehaved despite being spanked. She still hid in the foxhole. That's my evidence. And then I'm going to explain my evidence. I'm going to say this means that physical discipline doesn't always work. Remember, I need three pieces of evidence, so I have to keep going. I said the Chinese style is seen in the Amy Chua interview. I said Amy's daughter rebelled and didn't want to do what her mom wanted her to do. And this shows you can't control everything for your kids. Again, I'm giving evidence and I'm explaining what it means. I still am not done yet. I need three pieces of evidence. So I, then I went to Chinese style as seen in personal experience. I said my neighbor isn't Chinese, but his parents will ground him for getting a B and he hates school as a result. This shows that this method can backfire. Again, I'm giving evidence and I'm sh explaining what it means. So three pieces of evidence from different, different areas. Try not to be all in personal experience and then explain your evidence. You do the same thing for the parenting style you want to praise or show how it's better. So you have to give the same thing, examples of positives. So my examples of positive evidence, say I wanted to convince the Chinese mom to uh, be more like the American style. So I gave some evidence. I said, American style is seen as who is Irish. Sophie's parents are willing to explain good and bad behavior to their child. That's my evidence. 
and I explain it. I said, this gives a child a chance to understand what's going on. Helicopter style is seen as the helicopter parenting interview. I took evidence from there. I said, parents are willing to support their kids through everything. And I explained, this makes the kid feel safe. And then finally, I found it in my own personal experience. I said, knowing my parents will help me out makes me feel supported. That's my evidence, and I explain it. I said, this shows the method has real positive outcomes. So all you have to do is give me three. I'm really looking for evidence and explanation of evidence for what's good about the style you want the parent to change to and what's bad about the style that you want the parent to change. The last step is showing how to change. So my example was those using the Chinese parenting style could allow their child more choices such as which sport to participate in. And I might talk about how it would turn out differently with Amy Chua if she had just given her child a choice rather than uh, controlled what she should do. The rubric was this. You have to have a thesis which most of you had no problem with. You made a claim that one style was better than the other. That's worth 15 points. An audience, you have to directly speak to one of the parents. Remember, they're fictional. They're not going to get mad at you. This is worth 10 points. Positives, you have to identify three positive outcomes. That alone is worth 10 points. Then give evidence of them, another 10 points and explain them another 10 points. That's positive outcomes of the style you want them to change to. Then you have to do the same thing for the negatives. Tell them what's wrong with their style. Three things that are wrong, give evidence, and explain your evidence. That's another 30 points. You will see that if you do not give evidence and explain these three things, you're losing 60 points. That's a lot of points. Your whole essay is about identifying, giving evidence, and explaining. Your conclusion wraps it up, tells them how to behave, how to change, gives them one concrete way to change, and that's worth 15 points. All right. You have uh, until December 8th to redraft your paper. Please contact me if you have any questions.